<sighs> physics, 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 physics. Oh, hey, how'd you get in here? Oh, it's you, okay. So I'm just getting ready for our lab. But, you know, I guess I can show you around. So, you know, this is our classroom. I guess you know that. Uh, let's take a look, all right? So as we walk around, got things set up pretty normal in here. Uh, actually, let's look at what we got up here on the board. Got collisions lab day, huh? It says here, a collision is when two things run into each other. Seems like a pretty simple definition. I bet we'll come up with a more sophisticated definition with some more specific stuff later. It also says for a collision, there's no requirement that one or both object is moving at the beginning or at the end. Hmm. That's an interesting requirement, but... Oh yeah, then we got our equations. Uh, this first one's our, our big equation that we're gonna be using a bunch. So that's J, the impulse. We got all the rest of those, we know about them. But this second equation, that's a little, we haven't seen that one written down like this, I don't think. This is the sum of the momentums at the beginning is equal to the sum of the momentums at the end. That sounds like conservation of momentum. I mean, I think that's what it actually is. And then the last little bit here is during a collision, momentum is always conserved. This is not necessarily true before or after the collision though. Hmm. All right, let's take a look back in the lab. So, today for this lab, we're gonna be looking at some carts, and these are collision carts. Uh, so you've got a track here. You've seen this one before, I think. We've used them a little bit. And these tracks are aluminum. Uh, I've got a long one here. You might have a shorter one when we're actually doing the lab, but it doesn't really matter. They're basically the same. Uh, but we are gonna have these, these carts, and this time we're gonna have two of them. And the reason why is so we can do some collisions. And so the track is pretty normal. With these carts, uh, you have to take care of these. I will be very upset if any of these fall on the ground. So as you are using them, watch it. Do not throw these, do not play with these. Uh, they're not toys. They are physics instruments. So to start off with though, we'll notice it's got four wheels on the bottom. The grooves on the track, the wheels go in there. These are low friction wheels, so if you spin them, they actually go for quite a long time. And the reason why we'd like that is because then uh, friction is not, is considered, you know, it's an external force in this, which would make it so that momentum is not conserved. But because the friction is so small in these, we can ignore friction and stay that pretty much momentum is conserved for these carts. So as it's moving, sorry, they're a little noisy, uh, they move along and that we can do. So if you watch, it basically will move it pretty close to a constant speed as it rolls along. There's some, some extra details about this thing that I want you to notice. Um, we got one side here with some darker bits. The other side, it's mostly just straight across. This side is the magnet side of the cart. It is such named because it has two magnets in the end. Uh, so if I set this down, the other cart has magnets on this end as well, and they're actually opposite magnets. So when you bring them near by, they will repel. And so it pushes it off. This allows you to do soft impacts with collisions so that uh, it doesn't make really loud noises, things don't bounce off each other, and they don't break. Again, do not break my carts. I'm serious. Okay, so that's the magnet side. We're gonna use those for some, some impacts where stuff is gonna run into each other and bounce off. Now, what if we want them to stick? That's what this side is for. This is the Velcro side. You say your cart's moving along, runs into this one, now they're stuck. It's not very strong Velcro, so it's pretty easy to peel them apart, but something to keep in mind. It's a thing you can do. We're gonna use that for some other kinds of collisions that we'll talk a little more about. And then the last thing about the features of the cart is actually there is a spring-loaded plunger. 
If you look closely in between the two bits of Velcro, there's this white plastic square. There's also a little tiny button up here on the top. If you push that button, the plunger comes out. You've probably seen these before, and you probably played with them a little bit. Don't play with my carts. So you've got to make sure that with these you're, you're being careful, because a lot of them is actually, have actually broken. We had to go through and pick out all the ones that were good so we could use them for this lab. So be careful with these, especially with the plungers. They're very easy to break. Uh, so they sort of click in. You might have one that clicks in part way. You might not have one that clicks in part way. But you'll see that this actually sticks up a little bit off the top. And uh, if you're using it for this part of the lab, then you'll want it sticking out a little bit if you can. Otherwise, you can put it all the way in. Uh, but then you push this button and it shoots it out. We're going to use this for explosions, uh, which are not exact, you know, which are kind of under a class of collisions. When you're using the plunger, what you'll probably want to do is on one side of the cart, have it lined up magnet side facing towards the cart, and the other cart, you've got the plunger facing towards it. Then you'll put them right next to each other, push the button, and fun will ensue. All right, so that's our, that is our plunger cart, our collision cart, pretty much in total. One last thing that we have are these little objects here. These are masses, or they're weights that you can use to add additional weight or mass to these different carts. So if I wind up putting two of them on here, then this cart now has an increased mass. If you look at this one, uh, each of the carts actually has a mass of 250 grams, and each of these individually has a mass of 250 grams. So altogether, we've got one kilogram of stuff that can move, and you can see what happens when they collide into each other. Now, I do, I, I want you to have some fun with this, but please really do be careful and respect the equipment. Uh, so we're going to be doing some collisions and some explosions and figuring out what goes on with those. And uh, it's not the kind of explosions you're thinking about, but that would be kind of fun. So maybe we'll just try one. Explosion! <laughs> 